All right, Jake. How'd you hook that one, man? Uh, I was just limping right along here, raising it up and dropping it against the rocks. Dropping it against the rocks. No strike indicator. There's a double. Oh, okay. So you guys both got them. So the little guy here, oh, yours is bigger. All right. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Bring it in for weigh-in. Bring it in for weigh-in. Oh, it's pretty close. Let's not get them tangled up. Jacob's got gotcha, you, dude. Yep, he's got gotcha. you. All right, so I'm going to get these beautiful rainbows unhooked, and we'll uh, we'll explain the tip that we want to give you about nymphing in some of these swift water spots here. Great release, man. Very barbless hook. That makes easy duty. All right, I'm Joe from Red's Fly Shop, and there are so many rules that have been put on nymph fishing. It has to be a dead drift. It has to be under a strike indicator or a hop or drop or, or European style. It has to be dead drifted. There are all these rules. And lately I've been teaching a lot of people to fish, including my own sons. And I've been teaching a lot at our Reds University of Fly Fishing, which I think is the finest place to get good at fly fishing in the country. And when you're fishing a smaller stream, generally we like to dry fly our way upstream and then we're gonna fish our way back downstream oftentimes to our car. When I'm on my way back down, a really simple and easy way to do a quick switch is just to take my dropper off, or excuse me, my dry fly off, and I'll put on a heavy bead head nymph, preferably like a number 12. This is the most old fashioned form of nymphing, but it's like, it's like considered outlaw nymphing, like illegal nymphing by people who or self-proclaimed experts, but it's an incredibly practical way to work your way downstream, and it is old school and is a ton of fun. And all it is, is basically, we're gonna put our nymph in the current, we're gonna drift it, we're gonna let it rise to tension, and then we're gonna let it swing at the end. And those fish will pick it up on the swing a lot, especially when you don't have a giant strike indicator tied to the line. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I don't know if I'll catch one here or not. We already caught some in there. There he is. Oh my gosh. Just about took the rod out of my hands. So I'm drifting, 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 and then I'm gently going to let it transition to tension and swing out just like that. Sometimes I'll see the fish take because the leader or the fly line will jar over. Sometimes I'll feel it like that aggressive trout did. But I will tell you what, you will get very good at this kind of fishing. And I'm just gonna step my way downstream with the current here. Same thing again. Let it sink, sink, sink. I'm drifting it under control. And then I'll lower, there he is right there. I'll lower my rod as I'm going down. I'm gonna mend it to let it sink a little differently that time. And I'll let it swing up just like so. There he is. Nice little trout right there. So. We're often not after big trout. We're fishing little stream here that doesn't get much pressure. It's full of scrappy little rainbows like this guy right here. There we go. And I'm catching them on a tight line. It's super clean. I didn't have a lot of slack to deal with. I didn't have an indicator to deal with. It is a really simple way to fish. Don't feel like you have to fish with strike indicators or a hopper dropper or Euro style all the time. If you're fishing in a, in, a, in a system that doesn't have a lot of fishing pressure, heck, even if you are, this is a really quick, easy way with a simple setup to fish your way downstream. I'm gonna do a couple more swings here. So I drift, 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 drift. Let it swing up, just like so. Same thing again. Nice bite right there.
and you'll find that raising and lowering your rod you're going to get very good at raising and lowering the rod to alter how that nymph rises in the water column ultimately what we're trying to imitate is your nymph is a little critter it's living somewhere near the bottom it decides it's going to come up and enter the wide world of current up here and if that trout is sitting there when your fly picks up off the bottom and it's the first one on scene it'll grab it it's a great way to fish because it's a nice tight line connection it's clean and it's easy to transition instead of rigging up a complex indicator system when I turn around and work downstream in these little mountain streams, I just tie on a number 12 nymph, preferably with a tungsten bead, and I'll work my way down on a tight line.